morning guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 15, I think. We're past the halfway mark. I feel like I'm really gonna miss you guys when I stop Vlogmas. I feel like that every year, but doing daily vlogs is crazy. <laughs> it may seem easy, because you know I'm not doing anything like strenuous in the vlogs, but say I finish vlogging at 11 p.m. Then I have to edit it, which usually takes, I don't know, roughly an hour or so. Then I have to upload it, which takes another hour, because for some reason my internet has been a piece of crap recently. <laughs> it's taken forever. Then once it gets uploaded, I need to fill in the description box and make the thumbnail and add it to playlists. It's harder than it looks, <laughs> unfortunately, because I think I would really enjoy daily vlogging if like, I didn't have to do anything but the filming part. But it just doesn't leave me much time for anything else but filming and editing, so it's not very practical. But what I'm thinking is I'll do like a month of daily vlogs here and there, maybe like another one in April, and then another one in August or something. I think that would be lots of fun. And I'll be in Korea and everything will be new, it'll be exciting, so yeah, I'm really thinking about doing that for April, maybe March, because it'll be my first month there. We'll think about it. Anyways, I've had a really productive morning. I've been remaking my New Year's cards. If you watched that vlog where my ink wouldn't dry, <laughs> you guys gave me lots of really great suggestions. I tried the hair dryer, it didn't work. I tried the hairspray, it didn't work, it just made it sticky. I looked for the embossing powder at my local craft store, but they didn't have any, and I really need to get the card sent out or they're not gonna make it there for New Year's, so I don't have time to order anything online, unfortunately. So I just went out and bought some plain postcards and I'm decorating them myself because those are the only thing I could find that didn't have a shiny surface. So it's like the only paper that would work with my stamps. So this is what they look like so far. I know it's Year of the Dog, but let's be honest, cats are better. I stuck a cute little cat picture on there, and then the stickers, the Omikuji, the Fortune stickers, and the stamps work nicely, and then on the back, so I'm gonna write little letters to everyone. I might add something else on. I'm not quite sure yet, but they're getting there. Outfit of the day. My really adorable pajamas from Taylor. I love them. They're so soft and comfy. I'm gonna live in these, you guys. I wish I could wear them outside. If that was socially acceptable in Japan, I totally would because they're so soft. So I'm currently just waiting for Keyboard Son to get back home. He's been out all morning. He's been trying to find somebody to buy our car. There's a couple of potential people, so he's out there showing them the car and stuff. So hopefully we can find somebody because it would be great to have that money for moving. Fingers crossed. When he gets back home, we're gonna go out grocery shopping and get some food for dinner. I'm not sure what we're gonna make yet. You know what? I should look through my new cookbook from Taylor and find something. This looks really good. It's like a shepherd's pie, but I have no idea what passata is. 400 grams of passata. Something that looks like tomato sauce, I guess. I'm gonna have to look that up. But maybe I'll try this recipe. I've been craving some shepherd's pie. They made this mash with butter beans, lima beans, I guess those are, but I think I would prefer potatoes. So maybe I'll make some mashed potatoes and then this yummy veggie casserole type thing to go over top of them. If you are vegan or if you're looking for a way to incorporate some more veggies into your diet, this book is so nice. It's really simple recipes and there's lots of really yummy looking stuff in here. I will link this down below. The author, Katie, actually commented on my ramen video. I thought that was really neat. Thank you, Katie, for making such an awesome book. Two hours later. Just got back from shopping. I stopped at Daiso and I got some more decorations for the tree. You guys were commenting saying we didn't have enough decorations. So let's see if I can make it look better. <laughs> and what else did I get? I got some stickers for decorating my New Year's cards. I thought I would add some Sakura to it. And then I got some more glue sticks for my cards too. Then we went to the grocery store and I got all the ingredients for the shepherd's pie. So I'm gonna start that soon because I think it's gonna take quite a while to cook. All right, we got the onions frying in this pan. And then over here I'm just starting the potatoes. I'm gonna boil them and then make that into mashed potatoes. I'm gonna make this a little similar to my grandma's shepherd's pie recipe, or at least how I remember it. <laughs> so it's gonna be a little different from the book. I'm kind of just winging it, taking some ideas from the book and some ideas from how I remember her as being. 
I'm just cutting up some vegetables here. I'm gonna do red pepper and then I've got some shiitake mushrooms and I'm also gonna add some corn. My veggies have been cooking here for about 10 minutes or so now and I'm gonna add in this package of soy meat. It's like ground beef but all made out of soy. Looking good. Now I'm gonna add in some ketchup and some Worcester sauce. <laughs> I don't know how to say this. Fun fact, it's called Usta sauce in Japanese. And until recently, I thought that was oyster sauce. Because that sounds nothing like Worcestershire or whatever the heck it's actually called. Threw in some minced garlic, and now I'm gonna sprinkle in some corn. It's starting to smell really good. In this bowl, I've just dissolved a veggie broth cube and about a half a cup of water, and I'm gonna add in a tablespoon of cornstarch to that. I tasted it and it felt like it needed something. So I added in a bunch of fresh cracked black pepper and some rosemary. Can't go wrong with rosemary, it smells so good. For the mashed potatoes, you can make them however you like. I added in a little bit of olive oil and some vegan yogurt that I have, soy yogurt and salt and pepper. Then just scoop your potatoes on top of your veggie mix. This is like traditionally made in an oven, but we don't have a dish. We threw out our only dish. Okay, gonna cover that and then let it cook there for another eight or so minutes. It's a little messy looking, but it smells really good. I think it's gonna taste really good. How is it? What? Ski? Mmm. Dough. Yeah, it's really good. It's so easy to make. Three hours later. I finished decorating all my New Year's cards. They look so much better with the Sakura stickers. I'm so glad I got those. Yay, I'll finish. Now I'm gonna envelope them up and address them. You know what? I think we should try that flower tea from Taylor because I'm dying to see what it looks like. Let's try that really pretty purple one that was at the end of the box. This isn't a cup, this goes in here. Never mind. Totally thought it was a cup. And then, do I put the flower inside that little cup thing? But I feel like when it blooms, there won't be enough room for it in there. Looks like that's kind of what they did here. Let's Google it. Okay, it looks like they just put it in the teapot, not in that little cup thing. Yeah, because I feel like there wouldn't be room for it. So pretty. Whoa, what? So the tea I'm going to be trying is Fairy Dispersing Flowers by Ying Ki Tea House. And Taylor got this for me in Hong Kong. Not sure if it's available online or not, but I'm sure you could find something similar. There it is, pretty purple one. Let's try that one. All right, here we go. Oh no, it fell over. There it goes. I just realized I don't have any cute little teacups to pour it into, so I'm gonna have to use a mug. My guess would be jasmine. Is it jasmine tea? It looks so pretty, I love it. It's like oolong tea, actually. Let's see what the box says. Does it say what kind of tea leaves? Hmm, no. 
<laughs> just says blossoming tea and tea leaves are the ingredients. It's really yummy though, it's a really subtle flavor. If I had to compare it to something it would be oolong tea, but it tastes slightly different, which might be the flowers in it. I'm not sure, but it's really yummy and it's super pretty. I love it, thank you Taylor. Want to see something awesome? I got a 100% IV slackoth today. Slackoth? Slackoth? The sloth thing. <laughs> How awesome is that? If you don't know much about the new Pokemon that came out, I think he is the best one. Well, he evolves to the best one, or at least one of the best ones. So to get a 100% one is freaking awesome awesome and they are quite rare this is only the second one that i've caught so far i've only got six candies i'm walking him right now <laughs> hopefully i can get some more because i really want to evolve him all right i think it's time for some mail opening because if i don't hurry up i'm not going to be able to open everything before christmas there might be some christmas cards in here maybe there's something for you okay let's start with this one because i'm so curious Ah, it's a Neko Hatsume mug. Oh, and it's huge. Oh, I love it. Who is this from? Hi, Charlotte. This is from Brittany. Oh, Brittany, thank you so much. This is going to be my new favorite mug because it's huge. I always feel like my mugs aren't big enough. I need to make another cup of tea like right away. So this is perfect. Thank you so much, Brittany. Oh, I know what this one is. This is actually going to be for giveaway. I'll do that at the end of the video. So stay tuned. This one is from, oh, this one's also from Brittany. Brittany spoiled me. Chocolate! Raspberry dark chocolate. Hell yes. It smells so good. Mm. Brittany is from Alaska, so she sent me some local chocolate. <gasps> Pokemon cards! No way! Totally opening those. Okay, let's open the letter first. <laughs> I should have done that first. I got so excited by the snacks. Aww. Whoa! It's so beautiful. Maybe I should open the package first because she's talking about the stuff that's in the package. So let's keep it a surprise and then I'll read the letter after. This is what I saw. Apparently her cat Cora loves these mouse toys. I can see Mara and Luna just loving this. This is totally something that they would be obsessed with and carry around in their mouth. <laughs> What's that? For you. Yeah. Oh, come here. <laughs> ah, you wanna play? You wanna play? You wanna eat it? There you go. Yes! More Lara bars. Cashew cookie. Mm. Ooh, and another mouse. This one can be yours, Luna. Pink. These are so cute. I can't wait to try those. Ooh, peach tea. One of my faves. And some local teas from Alaska as well. There's some other goodies in here and a picture of her cat. Yes, send me cat pictures, guys. I love seeing them. Let's open the Pokemon card see if we got anything cool. Ooh, Alolan Meowth. Oh, no way. Check it out. It's a reverse holographic Incineroar. The final evolve of Litten. That's so cool. The holographic in this pack is actually a Pokemon I've never seen before. What gen is this from, guys? Rogan Rolla. Reverse holographic. Mom's playing with the mouse in the background. Aw, she loves it. A Rowlet. <laughs> Reverse holographic Surskit and a holographic Crobat. Okay, let me read your letter now, Brittany. <laughs> Yay, I'll be doing another Pokemon Lucky Bag this year. Well, hopefully, if I can get one, I'm going to try very hard to get there early so that I can get another one this year. Well, thanks so much, Brittany. All right, this next package is from Italy, 
It doesn't have a return address on it, so I'm not sure who it's from. This letter is from Marta. Am I reading that right? I'm not sure if I'm reading your writing correctly. Aw, yeah, I don't think there are too many Italians watching me. Unless I'm wrong and you guys just don't let me know that you're watching from Italy. Leave a comment down below if you're watching from Italy. Oh my god, Beat Evo. Nicole is obsessed with Beat Evo. She plays it every day. She's really good. I tried it once on her phone and it wasn't very good. <laughs> Aw, thank you for the tea. I'm gonna try them tonight. As for advice learning Japanese, I made a video a few years ago on my main channel. If you search for how I learned Japanese, Charlotte should come up, but that's basically all the tips I have because that is everything that I use to study Japanese. So check out that video. I'll link it up in the corner somewhere here for anyone else that is interested as well. This is from Katie in America. Oh wow, thanks Katie. She sent me some Pokemon fan art that she drew. <laughs> how adorable is that? That would look really cute in a frame on my shelf. I think I might do that. And some stickers. Oh, thanks so much, Katie. And I hope you enjoy your trip to Japan in the spring. I hope you get to catch the sakura. All right, one more letter before we get to the giveaway. This is from Laura in Spain. Wow, these are so cute. Hi, Charlotte. My name is Laura. We met at the Tokyo Game Show. Oh! Oh, I remember you. This is your own brand. They're so cute. You can check her out on Instagram at amaikero, just like what is written on the pins here. Look at how cute they are. Oh, thank you, Laura. You know where these would look really good? On my new tote bag from Taylor. All right, giveaway time. Uh, if you guys caught the vlog where I talked about this, this is that really cool case that Norm had. The ink case where you can take a photo and it will make it the design on the outside of your case. You can also make it a clock or you can read articles on it. It moves, it's really cool. <laughs> Transform your phone case into an ebook reader, a photo wallpaper, a news reader, or an information center. According to the website, this case is worth $149. <laughs> so very expensive phone case and they're currently out of stock. So if you would like to get your hands on one, now's your chance. If you have an iPhone 7 Plus and you would like to win this, or if you know somebody who has an iPhone 7 Plus and you wanna give it to them, leave a comment down below and tell me you would like to enter the giveaway and let me know who you are entering for. If it's yourself or your family member or your friend, etc. just let me know. All right, guys, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Sorry, it's such a short one. I spent most of my day filling out my New Year's cards, <laughs> so there wasn't too much exciting going on around here that I could film. Tomorrow, I promise I will find something fun for us to do together. Maybe we can go to the thrift store, because I still need to donate my clothes, so I'll give you guys a tour of my thrift store. Let's do that. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Good night.